everyone. Welcome to the first day of our virtual retreat. This retreat is going to be all about boosting our immune system. Every day we're going to target a different organ and today we're going to focus on the heart. What you're going to need is a bolster and if you don't have a bolster, grab a cushion and fold it in double it will have the same effect. So we're going to start laying down. So grab your bolster or your cushion, lay it along your spine with your head still on the bolster. Bring your arms wide open and start to bring your attention inwards. How does your body feel? Bring your attention even more inwards and start to observe your breath. Are you breathing slow? Are you breathing shallow or are you breathing deep? Just observe, it doesn't really matter. Just so you have something to compare it to at the end of the class. And start to bring your attention towards your heart. What do you feel there? Our heart is our motor that spreads out our fuel, our oxygen, our nutrients to our other organs. It spreads out our defense system, those white blood cells. Now what's your defense system to protect your heart? Are you closing your heart from anyone? Like our white blood cells, if they are attacking healthy cells, autoimmune diseases arise. If our immune system is overreacting, allergies arise. So today we're going to focus on opening up our heart. Think on every inhale expansion. Space. And on every exhale, release. Start to deepen your breath. Remember that your breath is going to be the most important thing to focus on. Let's take three more deep inhales and exhales. On your last exhale, roll onto the side, remove your bolster or your cushion. Come lay on your back again for a moment. Again, observe the area of your chest. What has these last couple of minutes done to the area of your heart? And start to bring your arms alongside your body, hands on facing down. Bring your feet up in the air. They don't have to be straight. And then focus on your lower belly, just below your navel. And then on your exhale, you're gonna draw that area towards your mat. So you're really gonna activate it. So let's take five deep inhales and exhales. And on every exhale, you draw the lower belly towards your mat. You can inhale, exhale, activate. With a very subtle move. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, 
exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now start to hug your knees in. Give yourself some self-love. Start to massage your lower spine. You can make some circles one way and then circle the other way. But try to keep that awareness on that lower belly. Keep it activating throughout your whole practice. It's going to help you open up the chest. Then grab your knees from behind to start to rock yourself forward and back. And make your way into a seated position. So really make sure you're sitting on your sit bones with a long spine. You're going to start with some hip circles. So on your inhale, move to the left. Exhale forward. Inhale right. Exhale back. So make these circles as big as you can while keeping your sit bones on the mat. Now when you're moving back, start to round your spine. And when you're moving forward, start to arch your spine. Like you're doing your cat and cows in a seated position. So move on your breath. Then circle the other way. smaller, still rounding and arching the spine, but now we're going to move more from the chest. So really when you're moving forward, bring the chest forward, when you're moving back, start to round your spine, but round from the upper back. And then come back to center. Then on your inhale, bring your arms back, bring the chest forward. On your exhale, round your spine, give yourself a hug. Inhale, bring your arms back, chest forward, open up your chest. Exhale, round the spine, grab your shoulders. Inhale, bring the chest forward, the heart forward. Exhale, round the spine. One more time, inhale, bring your heart forward. Exhale, round your spine. Give yourself a hug. Real breathe. Really breathe into your shoulder blades. And really. Then start to bring your arms wide to the side. Fingertips facing up. Feel that stretch into your lower arms. Then on your inhale, bring your left arm up. Bend it. And then grab your elbow with your right hand. Really bring your chest forward and focus on your breath. And on your inhale, start to bring your right arm out to the side, bend it behind you, and reach for your fingertips. They don't have to touch. Again, really focus on bringing the chest forward, and focus on deepening your breath. Remember, if you deepen your breath, you are deepen your pose. The more you deepen your breath, the more you get out of the pose. release. Now bring your arms again out to the sides, but this time fingertips facing down. Again, feel that stretch into your lower arms. And then inhale, bring your right arm up, bend it, and grab your elbow. Then on your inhale, bring your left arm out to the side, bend it behind you, reach for your fingertips. Maybe this side feels different than the other. Totally fine. Yoga helps us to balance our body out. And release. Now roll onto your hands and knees, tabletop position. So place your hands under your shoulders, your knees under the hips. 
Really spread your fingers wide and press the ground away from you. Then on your inhale, bring your right arm up. Now imagine that you're holding a ball of energy and you're bringing this ball of energy under your left arm. Inhale, right hand up. Exhale, bring it under your left arm. Inhale, right hand up again. Exhale, slide it completely under your left arm. Bring your right cheek on the mat. And if you want a deeper stretch, start to walk that left hand forward. Or place both hands on top of each other and stack your shoulders. Then on your next inhale, place your left hand under your left shoulder. Bring your right hand up. Now pivot your left foot out to the long side of the mat. Straight your right leg. Open up the chest. And grab your head from behind to open up the chest even more. Take one more deep breath. And exhale, come back to the table. Then on your next inhale, bring your left arm up. Again, imagine that you're bringing a ball of energy under your right arm. Inhale, left hand up. Exhale, bring that ball under your right arm. Inhale, left hand up again. Exhale, slide it completely under your right arm. Bring your left cheek on the mat. Then walk the right hand forward if you want a deeper stretch. Or place both hands on top of each other, stack the shoulders. So focus on a deep breath. Maybe on every exhale you twist even more. Then on your next inhale, place your right hand under your right shoulder, bring your left hand up. And then pivot your right foot out to the long side of the mat. Straight that left foot, open up the chest. Grab your head from behind. And exhale, come back to the table. Now we're gonna move through some cat and cow. So on your inhale, drop the belly, open up the chest, look forward. Exhale, round the spine. Inhale, drop the belly, open up the chest. Exhale, round the spine. Now do a couple of cat and cows on your own breath, your own pace. And on your next inhale, you're gonna drop your belly, open up the chest. And you move back into child's pose. Remember, you can always come back to child's pose whenever your body needs it. Then on your exhale, you're going to round your spine, come to table. Then inhale, arch your spine, move back to child's. Exhale, round the spine, come back to table. Inhale, drop the belly, open up the chest, move back to child's. Exhale, round the spine, come to table. On your next inhale, again, drop your belly, open up the chest, tuck your toes under. And on your exhale, you move, make your way into downward facing dog. Now remember with downward facing dog, the most important thing is that you have a long spine. So don't worry about the hamstring too much. First, bend your knees. Press all of your fingertips wide into the mat. Relax that neck and focus on a long spine by bringing your hips as far up and back as you can. And then from here on your exhales, you're gonna lower your heels towards the mat without losing that long spine. Take one more breath here. Then on your next inhale, roll forward into a high plank. Then on your exhale, bend your knees, come to a downward facing dog. Let your hips lead the way. So on your inhale, roll forward into a high plank. 
Exhale, come back to down dog. Inhale, roll forward into a high plank. Exhale, bend your knees. Make your way to down dog. Again, on your inhale, roll forward into a high plank. This time, start to lower your knees, then your chest, then your chin. On your inhale, slide your way into a baby cobra. So your thighs and feet are firm into the mat. Keep the elbows in. And again, bring that awareness to that lower belly. Activate your lower belly so you can pop up the chest more. Then exhale down. And place your hands as wide as the mat, fingertips in the mat. Activate the lower belly. Take an inhale, bring your chest up. Exhale down. Now place your hands even wider as the mat, fingertips in the ground. Then on your inhale, lift the chest. Maybe a bit higher. And exhale down. On your next inhale, place your hands next to your chest. Press yourself up the table. And exhale, downward facing dog. Three rounds of breath here. Again, every inhale, lengthen that spine. Every exhale, heels towards the mat. We're gonna do this one more time. On your next inhale, roll forward into a high plank. On your exhale, lower your knees, then your chest, then your chin. On your inhale, slide your way into a baby cobra. Exhale down. On your inhale, place your hands as wide as the mat, fingertips in the mat. On your inhale, lift the chest. Exhale down. Now place your hands even wider as the mat. On your inhale, lift the chest up. Exhale down. On your next inhale, place your hands next to your chest. Press yourself up the table. And exhale, downward facing dog. Again, again inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, heels towards the mat. Then on your next inhale, start to walk your feet to the top of the mat, in between your hands, and hang here. You can bend your knees here, relax your spine, relax your neck, grab opposite elbows, move from side to side. You can shake your head yes, you can shake your head no. Just let everything hang. You release your elbows, slowly roll up. And roll your shoulders back. Start to close your eyes, bring your attention inwards again. Start to feel your heart rate. Start to feel your heartbeat. Just observe. And if you have your eyes closed, start to open them up again. Come to the top of your mat if you're not already there. Place your feet as wide as your hips. Then on your inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, fall forward, hinge from your hips. Bend your knees so belly is glued to your thigh. Then on your inhale, step your right leg back, big step. Exhale, lower your knee, untuck your toe. Inhale, bring your arms up. Exhale, open up the chest, let your hands on fall back. Inhale, bring your arms up again. Exhale, open up the chest, let your hands on fall back. Inhale, bring your arms up again. Exhale, open up the chest. Start to interlace your fingers behind you. On your inhale, bring your chest forward. Exhale, fall forward. Bring belly to the thigh. Inhale, bring your arms up. Exhale, hands down. Inhale, walk your hands back. Exhale, think belly to thigh again. Three rounds of breath. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. 
You'll see if you can make that ripple effect. So on your inhale, come up. Exhale, first belly. And then your head left. One more time. Inhale, roll up. Exhale, roll back. Then on your inhale, walk your hands forward. Bring your left arm forward and up. Open up the chest. Exhale, left hand down. Inhale, straight your back leg. Bring your arms up. Anjani Asana. Exhale, open up the chest again. On your next inhale, start to grab your opposite elbows. Then straight both legs, shorten your stance. Then on your inhale, bring your chest forward. Exhale, fall forward. So really press that left big toe firm into the mat. Suck your belly in. Activate both of your thighs. Then you release your, el your elbows, start to walk your hands forward. On your inhale, lift that right leg up. Exhale, round your spine, bring knee to nose. Inhale, bring the right foot back, lengthen. Exhale, bring knee to nose, round the spine. Inhale, bring the right leg back, lengthen. Exhale, round the spine again. Then on your next inhale, place right foot next to your left. Then inhale, half lift. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, come all the way up, bring your arms up, and exhale, arms down. Again, inhale, bring your arms up. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, step your left leg back, big step. Exhale, lower your knee, untuck your toe. Inhale, bring your arms up. Exhale, open up the chest, let your hands on fall back again. Inhale, bring your arms up. Exhale, open up the chest. Again, bring that awareness to that lower belly. Activate the lower belly so you can puff up the chest. One more time. Inhale, bring your arms up. Exhale, open up the chest. Start to interlace your fingers behind you. This time, other pinky on top. Then inhale, bring your chest forward. Exhale, fall forward, belly to thigh. Then inhale, bring your arms up. Exhale, arms down. Inhale, start to walk your hands back, straight the front leg. Exhale, think belly to thigh again. You're gonna make that ripple movement. So on your inhale, come up. On your exhale, roll down. Inhale, roll up. Exhale, roll back. One more time. Inhale, roll up. Exhale, roll back. Then on your inhale, start to walk your hands forward. Bring your right hand forward and up. Open up the chest. Exhale, right hand down. Inhale, straight your back leg. Bring your arms up. On the asana. Exhale, open up the chest. Then start again to grab your opposite elbows. Then shorten your stance, straight both legs. Take an inhale, bring your chest forward. Exhale, fall forward. Again, remember to bring the right, press the right big toe firm into the mat. Activate both of your thighs. Your hips are facing forward. And suck your belly in. Now release your elbows, place your hands forward. Then start to walk your hands forward, lift that left leg up. Exhale, round your spine, bring knee to nose. Inhale, bring that left foot back. Exhale, round your spine, knee to nose. One more time, inhale, straight that left leg back. Exhale, round the spine. On your next inhale, place your left foot next to your right half, lift hands onto your shin. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, come all the way up, bring your arms up. And exhale, arms down. Now place your feet as wide as your hips. Feel that your feet are firm into the mat. 
On your inhale, start to bring your arms up. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step or jump into your chaturanga. So from a high plank, bend your elbows maximum 90 degrees. Then inhale, press up, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Two more breaths here. Again, focus on that long spine on your inhale. On your exhale, you bring your heels towards the mat. Then inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, bring right knee to right elbow. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Now straight that right foot out to the side. Bring your left arm up, open up the chest. Exhale, come back to your three-legged dog. On your next inhale, step your right foot in between your hands, stay in that high line. Then on your inhale, bring your arms up, Anjaniyasana. On your exhale, interlace your fingers behind your head. Then inhale, bring your chest forward, open up your chest. Exhale, round your spine. Inhale, bring your heart forward, open up the chest. Exhale, round the spine. Again, focus on that lower belly. Inhale, bring your chest up. Exhale, round. Then inhale, bring your arms up. You're gonna make a brick transition here. On your inhale, you shift your weight forward. You lift that left leg up. Let your heart shine forward into airplane. Take one more breath here. Then inhale, bring your arms up. Left foot meets right. Exhale, bring hands on together in front of the heart. Again, observe your heart rate again. Place your feet as wide as your hips again. On your inhale, bring your arms up. Exhale, fall forward. Your belly is glued to your thigh so you can bend your knee. Inhale, half lift, crown away from the tailbone. Exhale, step or jump into your chaturanga. If you jump, jump with bent elbows. Then inhale, press up, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, heels towards the mat. Then on your inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, knee to right elbow. Then on your next inhale, straight your left leg out to the side. Bring your right hand up, open up the chest. Exhale, place your right hand down. Come back to your three-legged dog. On your next inhale, set that left foot in between your hands, staying at high lunge. On your inhale, bring your arms up, Anjaniyasana. Again, on your exhale, start to interlace your fingers behind your head. Inhale, bring your chest forward, open up the chest. Exhale, round your spine. Again, inhale, bring your chest forward. Exhale, round. Again, focus on the activated core. On your inhale, bring the chest forward. Exhale, round the spine. Inhale, bring your arms up. Exhale, shift your weight forward into airplane again. Lift that right leg up. Focus on the strong core, strong limbs. Really shine your heart forward. And on your exhale, place your right foot next to your left. We're gonna do this again, but we're gonna do this a bit faster. So on your inhale, bring your arms up. On your exhale, fall forward. Inhale, half lift, crown away from the tailbone. Exhale, step or jump, chaturanga. Then inhale, press up, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, knee to right elbow. 
Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Then on your inhale, straight it, right leg out to the side. Lift your left hand up, open up the chest. Exhale, come back to your three-legged dog. On your next inhale, start to bend your knee, open up your hip. Now you can either stay here or shift your weight forward, lower your right foot down, bring your hip up into wild thing. One more breath. And on your exhale, come back to your three-legged dog. On your inhale, step your right foot in between your hands, stay in a high lunge. And inhale, bring your arms up, Anjaneyasana. And on your exhale, shift your weight forward into airplane. And inhale, bring your arms up. Exhale, hands in front of your chest. Come back to your breath. Come back to your heart. What do you feel here? We're gonna work a bit more on our balance. So on your next inhale, lift your right hand up. Start to bend your left knee. Grab your foot either from your from the inner outside. And on your inhale, start to lengthen. And on your exhale, you start to kick into your hand. And kick. And kick. And kick. Doesn't matter if you fall out, you just try again. Pick a spot that's not moving. Inhale, slowly come up and give your legs a shake. Let's do the other side. Feet as wide as the hips. On your inhale, bring your arms up. Exhale, fall forward, hinge from your hips, belly glued to your thighs. Inhale, half lift, crown away from the tailbone. Exhale, step or jump, chaturanga. Then inhale, press up, upper facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, heels towards the mat. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, knee to right elbow. Now straight that left foot out to the side. Lift your right hand up. Open up the chest. Exhale, come back to your three-legged dog. On your next inhale, step that left foot in between your hands. Bring your arms up on the asana. On your exhale, shift your weight forward into airplane. Then inhale, bring your arms up. Right foot meets left. On your exhale, bring your hands home together in front of your heart. Okay, we're gonna move into dancers. So bring all of your weight into your left foot. Start to bring your left arm up. Then on your exhale, grab that right foot from the inner outside. Then inhale, start to lengthen. Exhale, kick into your hand. Kick and kick. Slowly come up. A bit more graceful than I did. And again, start to shake your legs. Place your feet as wide as your hips. And then on your inhale, bring your arms up. Exhale, fall forward, belly glued to your thighs. Inhale, half lift, crown away from the table. Exhale, step into a high plank and stay there. You're gonna lower down in three rounds of breath. So on your first inhale, really press the ground away from you and shift your weight forward a bit. Then exhale, lower down. Then inhale, activate your core, activate your thighs. Exhale, lower. One more time, inhale. Exhale, lower all the way to the mat. Now place your arms alongside your body, hands on facing down. And on your next inhale, start to lift the chest up, lift your legs. Three rounds of breath. 
you might want to lift a bit more on every inhale. One more breath. And exhale, lower down. Place your forehead onto your hands. Wiggle the hips. And on your next inhale, place your hands next to your chest. Press yourself up to the table. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, heels towards the mat. On your next inhale, roll forward into a high plank. Really press the mat away from you. Shift that weight forward and on your exhale, you lower down. Two more breaths. Inhale. Exhale, lower. Inhale. Exhale, lower all the way to the mat. Now start to bring your arms forward. Then on your next inhale, lift your arms, lift your legs. So inhale, lift. Three rounds of breath here. Two more. Inhale, lift a bit more. Extra. Inhale. And exhale, lower down again. Rest your forehead onto your hands. Wiggle your hips. Then on your next inhale, place your hands next to your chest. Press yourself up to the table. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, heels towards the mat. Then on your inhale, roll forward into a high plank. You guys know what's coming. In three rounds of breath, you're going to lower down. So take an inhale, press the mat away from you. Shift your weight forward. Exhale, lower. Inhale. Exhale, lower. Inhale. Exhale, lower all the way to the mat. Now start to bend your knees. Then grab your ankles if this is available for you. If it's not, do the same pose as we did before. Then on your next inhale, start to kick into your hands. Lift the chest up. Take two more breaths. Inhale, lift. Exhale. One more inhale. And exhale, lower down. Rest your forehead onto your hands. Wiggle the hips again. Now place your hands next to your chest. On your inhale, press yourself up to table. Now keep the hips up. We're going to start walking our hands forward. And let our hearts melt into the mat. Now either place your forehead on the mat or on a block. Or if you want a deeper stretch, place your chin on the mat. Still connect with your breath. See if you can melt into the mat on every exhale. Now slowly make your way onto your belly. Again, rest your forehead on the mat, onto your hands. Wiggle the hips. Now start to place your right hand out to the side. Place your left hand next to your chest. Bring your right cheek on the mat. Then roll onto your right side. Place that left foot behind you. Feel that stretching your shoulders into that lower back. Slowly start to roll onto your belly. Then place your right hand next to your right chest. 
Bring your left hand out to the side. Bring your left cheek on the mat. Then roll onto your left side. And place your right foot behind you. Start to deepen your breath. Then again, start to roll onto your belly. Rest your forehead onto your hands. And then wiggle the hips again if you like. Then on your next inhale, roll onto your back. Start to bend your knees. Then place your right foot on top of your left knee. Flex that right foot to protect your knee. And then bring your left knee towards your chest. Grab your knee from behind. Now if this hurts your knee, please don't do it. With no knee stretching in yoga. If you want a deeper stretch, start to grab your shin. Again, on every exhale, you might want to bring that left knee a little bit closer towards your chest. There's no pose in this class which is completely static. We're constantly using our breath to deepen our pose. And start to lower that left foot down. Bring your arms wide to the side like a T. Then bring your knees to the right side, your gaze to the left. Now if this stretch is too intense, you can also place both knees on top of each other. Pick your version. Again, try to sink into your twist on every exhale. See if you can be more relaxed on every exhale. Still focus on a deep breath. And notice how deepening your breath, how it lowers down your heart rate. How you can control your, your heart rate by focusing on your breath. Then on your next inhale, bring your knees back to center. Place your right foot down. Start to observe the difference between left and right. And place your left foot on top of your right knee. Flex your left foot. And then grab your knee from behind. And bring that right knee towards your chest. Again, be mindful of that left knee. If you want a deeper stretch, grab your shin. your exhale lower that right foot down bring your arms wide to the side like a T bring your knees to the left side your gaze to the right again pick your version if you want to stay here or place both knees on top of each other again especially focus on your exhale you might want to make your exhales deeper than your inhales 
So you can really focus on sinking to your pose, sinking to that twist. Slowly bring your knees back to center again. Hug your knees in. You might want to make some circles. Maybe both knees are moving the opposite way. Do whatever feels good. Circle the other way. Then we're going to finish as how we started. So grab your block or your cushion, place it along your spine, your head still on your bolster. Optional to bring the soles of your feet together, knees apart. Open up your arms and again, bring your awareness to the area of your chest. Again, start to observe. Observe how your body feels. Does it feel any different than in the beginning of the class? And then again, start to observe your breath. your breath any difference than in the beginning of the class. Now start to bring your attention towards your heart. And remember all the things that our heart does for us how it is our motor that press out our fuel and our defense system throughout our body. Without our heart, our other organs cannot survive. Now our heart is also the center of love. On an energetic level, it's the center of love and compassion be able to forgive. Now ask yourself if we can survive without love. <laughs> without love for ourselves. Without love for others. Without love from others. And I start to think of a person in your surroundings. It might can use some extra love today. And can you think of a way of sending this person some loving energy? Can your heart be that motor? Spreading out love. Can it be that open door for love coming in and out? If you like to stay here for your final pose of asana, that's fine. If not, start to roll onto your side, remove your bolster, and come lay on your back again. 
straight your legs, bring your arms alongside your body, your hand palms facing up. Roll your shoulders under so your chest is open. And again, be that observer. In our final pose of asana, we have a lot of time to wonder. Try to actively observe your body. When your attention is in your body, your mind is quiet. You're not so much in your mind. So try to scan your body for any unnecessary tension. Start from your feet and make your way up all the way towards your face. And enjoy these moments of quietness, these moments of relaxation. Slowly start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Then roll onto your right side. Use your biceps as a cushion. When you're ready, press yourself up to a seated position. Again, make sure you're sitting onto your sit bones with a long spine. Place your hands in front of your chest. And again, bring your attention inward. Observe the area of your heart. And then let's close our practice with one more breath. Start by exhaling all the air out and take a deep inhale, deep exhale, namaste. Thank you all for joining. Today, Katie is also teaching a yin class, also focusing on the heart. If you're interested in how we are boosting our immunity at here at Eden, then check out our website, edenchocolata.com. In there, we have a blog on how we boost our immunity. Thank you and hope to see you tomorrow. Bye.